Everyone seems so excited about DeepSeek and the way it has challenged the big players like OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, etc. No doubt, DeepSeek is outstanding. Its inference, its reasoning, its self-reflection has brought something new to the industry. But to be honest, it hasn't really rattled anything seriously. I don't know why the US stock market went down when they heard about DeepSeek because DeepSeek hasn't challenged any moat of any company. When it comes to large language models, we don't have any monopoly. There are heaps of providers out there, not only open source, but also closed source. Check out Llama, check out Mistral, check out various other providers. We have thousands of fine tunes. So DeepSeek has done something cool, but not groundbreaking in my opinion. The thing which could be groundbreaking is when someone challenges the NVIDIA's monopoly. If any Chinese manufacturer, Japanese manufacturer or any other manufacturer from any country or part of the world challenges that monopoly, that is going to make a huge difference. That is why I was very, very excited when I learned about this news, a new company and I, I have to be honest, I really didn't know much about them previously. So this, uh, these Chinese manufacturers, it seems that they have been quietly building their capabilities and recent developments suggest that they are now ready to challenge NVIDIA's dominance. Chinese consumer GPU manufacturers such as Moore Thread and Baidu's Kunlan have made significant strides in recent months, it seems. So what they have done is they have brought support for running deep six AI models on local systems, which is a significant development in the global AI race. We all know that this AI industry has been dominated by Nvidia for several years with the company's GPUs being the preferred and maybe only choice for AI applications. And I don't know what AMD is doing. Intel is nowhere to be seen. That is why I would be really, really happy if someone challenges that monopoly. Look, nothing against Nvidia, amazing company, amazing products, but monopoly is never good for anyone in my opinion. So these Chinese companies, I think that that is a good thing. And we all know that DeepSeek has, which is again a Chinese company, has developed several AI models, including the R1 LLM, which is comparable to OpenAI's model. But R1 is good. This company, Moodthread, has done something wonderful. Moodthread is a Chinese GPU manufacturer, has been at the forefront of this development, it seems. The company has brought in support for DeepSeek's distillation model through a deployment service which is compatible with its MTT S80 and MTT S4000 consumer GPUs. And the cost is, I believe, is just around three to $4,000. And you can run the full um, DeepSeek R1 model on locally on that GPU. That's it, one GPU. And the MTT S4000 is designed specifically for workstation workloads. That makes it an attractive option for professional consumers. In addition to supporting Deep6 models on its consumer GPUs, Moodthread has also brought in support for the models on its KUAE cluster. The KUAE cluster is an in-house cluster designed specifically for AI workloads that features MTT S4000 GPUs. This development is quite significant as it demonstrates Moodthread's commitment to build a comprehensive AI ecosystem. While the performance of Deep6 model on Moodthread GPU is unclear, I'm not really sure about that, but this development is expected to fuel the adoption of company's product among professional consumer. Also, this Moodthread GPU can also be deployed for inference workload, which makes them a versatile option for AI applications. This is a specification, as you can see on your um, screen, which you can check out. I'm not going to uh, do it uh, as is. But you see that all the uh, its memory size, bandwidth, and then inference bandwidth bus interface looks quite good to me. Not bad at all, the whole specification. But don't worry, I'm going to put the link to their website of Moore Thread and you can check out further. There is a lot of information there. In addition to this Moore Thread, Baidu, the renowned Chinese tech company, has also made significant progress in the AI space. And that company has built an in-house AI cluster featuring its Kunlan Core P800 AI chips, 
which is quite a powerful that performs 20 to 50 percent better than similar mainstream gpu it also supports 8-bit inference so quantization can be done for low deployment and maintenance cost that chip also supports r1 ai model which makes inference quite easy and Baidu's AI cluster consists of 30,000 core P800 AI GPUs, by the way, which is quite a significant investment in-house for them. So look, I believe that these implic the implications of these developments are quite significant. Chinese GPU manufacturers are now capable of supporting AI workloads that were previously the exclusive domain of NVIDIA, it seems. This development is expected to increase competition in the AI industry which could lead to lower prices and more innovative products. Also, the fact that Chinese GPU manufacturers are building their own AI ecosystem, it really demonstrates their commitment to reduce their dependence on uh, other technologies. Now, I'm not sure politically what is going to happen, whether that would be banned, the import of these or not, uh, whether we would be able to use it or not. I don't know. I don't really want to go into that detail. For me, um, I think that innovation is going on and this is one area which badly badly needs any uh, investment i hope that even other big players like google microsoft amazon um, they spend some money there maybe you know instead of going to space they could first build some good gpus challenging nvidia's uh, dominance make some portable software driver so that it would increase competition that is going to lead to lower prices and more innovative products and that might also puncture the stock market bubble at the moment so that is badly badly needed in my opinion so but look i'm very very keen to know your thoughts on it as that always means a lot and i learn a lot so please share your thoughts let's not make it a political fight or you know country-based fight let's uh, discuss do you think that these gpus are good enough check out their specification and i don't think so that even now they are in the position of you know topple nvidia but i think a good development but very keen to hear your thoughts before i let you go let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description so do check them out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share the channel and the videos among your network as that is the only marketing i do and i rely on your support heavily for that so thank you for all the support 